This is gonna be the second video out today, but uh, I've been getting a lot of comments on how to mod your Oculus Quest on a Mac computer. Now, of course, this isn't a real Mac computer, this is a Hackintosh, and I'm very excited to say that tomorrow I will be releasing a video on how to make your own Hackintosh without a Mac. There are a few new things about that in 2020, so I will be making an updated video on that tomorrow. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to try to do this video as fast as possible. We're not going to go into any of the weird stuff. So just if you like the video, make sure to subscribe. That's it. Thank you all so much for 3K. Let's get into the video. So here we have our Mac computer. I have OBS running on it. I really hope um, that it works <laughs> because again, it's not a real Mac. And we have our Oculus Quest. <laughs> so the first thing you will want to do is get SideQuest. Now SideQuest is natively supported by Mac OS X, which is really nice because that means you don't have to play around with any of the uh, virtualization crap. So we're gonna download SideQuest. So of course, once you've downloaded SideQuest, you just open it up like you would any software on Mac OS X and just drag it into your applications folder. So then you just go into your launch pad. There it is. And you can drag it into like your bottom or just whatever you like. So we're going to open up SideQuest now and we're going to power up our quest. So basically what you will be able to do when you have this done is you'll be able to run the refresh rate mod for example that i showed off in a separate video and you'll be able to install applications from sidequest and run adb commands because as we all know the quest is an android device therefore you can run adb commands on it here we go so we have sidequest open and it says not connected so next thing you want to do is you want to grab your usb cable and just plug it into your quest. There we go. It says unauthorized allow in headset. So that's the next thing you want to do. You want to allow the connection. There we go. Uh oh. So I'm going to allow from this computer and click OK. OK, perfect. And now you see on your screen Oculus Quest. It gives you your local IP address. It gives you the amount of battery you have. And from here on, you can execute ADB commands. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Top right corner, as you can see right there. Basically, all you want to do is you want to click on that and click custom command. So let's say right now you were doing, for example, the resolution mod that I showed you guys how to install. You can uh, see there list devices runs like ADB. Basically, the only command you want to run in here if you're doing the resolution mod is the very last one I showed you. It'll be this one that I'm showing you on screen right now. Um, and if you want to install apps like APKs, like when I was typing in ADB install and dragging in the app, what you want to do on your Mac is you want to click up here, install APK from folder on computer and find the APK file that you want to install. You don't have to be typing in ADB install and dragging the stuff in. You just click there and install them one by one. The SideQuest store is also really cool because you can get apps that aren't fully out on the Oculus Quest yet. We can get games like Pavlov, which as you can see here, exist for the Oculus Quest on, um, on SideQuest. And of course you have all these other really cool, amazing, amazing games that you could be playing. Also, here is where you get the version of Virtual Desktop that you need in order to be able to stream from your computer to your Quest. Because if you buy Virtual Desktop and download it straight from the Oculus Store on your Oculus Quest, you will actually not be able to stream Steam VR to it. So please make sure, I should probably put this in another video, please make sure that when you buy it, you sideload this version because this version wasn't allowed on the Quest Store because Oculus, of course, doesn't really want you streaming your apps to the Quest. They want you using the Oculus Link. That's pretty much it, guys. That's how simple it is. Um, I really hope this helped you out. Very fast, very short video, but um, a lot of people were asking me about it in the comment section below. So I decided to, um, to help you guys out because um, typing out the same comment multiple times isn't exactly ideal. Again, tomorrow I'm going to be releasing a video on how to make your very own Hackintosh in 2020 without owning a Mac, because as you know, I hate Apple. I don't own a Mac. The only reason I have this is because I fix iPhones, and when I do that, sometimes I need an Apple device to, um, to install the system on them. So again, very short video. If it helped you out, make sure to subscribe. 
If you liked the video, give it a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works as well. But if you do dislike it, make sure to tell me why in the comment section below. I really hope this video helped you out. If you want to see future videos, I'm uploading daily. I make tech videos daily and I upload VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. And sometimes like this, I will make tutorials for you guys um, on VR, not on VR Monday and not on VR Friday if you guys need it. Um, because all I want to do is help you guys out. So I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying the content. Um, I work hard and I try to give you guys the best quality I can. So again, if you want to be notified of future videos, please make sure to subscribe, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace. Also, I'm going to edit this entire video on Mac OS X. Why not? Let's try it. How bad can it possibly be? What can go wrong? Am I right or am I right?